I was faced with being in love with the vehicle when it had a backstory that wasn't quite as I had imagined. And I just made the commitment on its sheer industrial elegance that I was going to own it anyway. And that's how I ended up with a fire truck in my backyard garage. My name is Gary. I am the owner of this American La France pumper from 1981. I am a recreational eBay addict. There was this very attractively photographed fire truck. We always joke about the garage being so big in case I ever got a hook and ladder. And it was always just left over from a childhood fantasy. Not knowing anything about fire trucks, I called the local fire station. They were nice enough to refer me to fleet maintenance at the Albuquerque Fire Department. So I asked for the head of the, of the department. I explained my problem, and would he be kind enough to eyeball the listing on eBay? And he says, holy crap, they never look this good. I have no idea how this escaped from governmental use. So I threw in a bid and checked it every hour, figured I would pay 30% more than the high bid with one hour to go. And all of a sudden it said, you won. I called the seller. I said, how come it has all this beautiful decoration uh, that says it's the Presidio. And he said, oh, it was never at the Presidio. Since I own the truck, I just decided I would have my own fire department. I could name it anything I wanted. And he said, I'm a 49ers fan. And I had the artist decorated as Engine 49. <laughs> the delivery was logistically complex given its size and age and it took three weeks to find somebody. They picked it up uneventfully and uh, showed up two, two and a half days later in Albuquerque in absolutely sparkling condition. And it was just, it took your breath away, just the sheer size. And I just came out to the garage and spent four or five hours just ogling it. Like, nobody, nobody I've ever met has a fire truck. And here I am in the garage with it. And uh, feelings of my dad being present was pretty overwhelming. He did spend 16, 18 years with the fire department. He died in 2001 of natural causes, just before the 9-11 disaster. My dad was a very inventive person. The fire department was never able to maintain communications with firemen at a high-rise fire. And my dad developed a device called the Chief's Repeater, which is effectively its own mobile radio station, and it can go basically all the way up to the tallest skyscraper and they can stay in touch with the command. In the diagram of how they fought the World Trade Center fire, the chief's repeater was shown in the diagram. It was very touching. So my goal has become to turn this into what went from an eccentric acquisition to a rolling memorial to the 9-11 firefighters and to list the names of the 343 firefighters that died that day uh, on the side of the truck. As I approach his age, when my dad died, it brings me closer 
to him in a very gratifying way, I must say. <laughs>